Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are we getting on? So, did you know there is currently an in-game event running in Fallout 76? Because, uh, I didn't. Okay, yes, yeah, so there is actually an in-game event running in 76 at the moment that somehow has flown under the radar. I'm not entirely sure if Bethesda just didn't mention this, because maybe they planned for people to discover it themselves, or something to that effect, or if it was just somehow flown right under the radar and I've missed it. Uh, these things happen occasionally. Either way, if I've missed it, somebody else probably has too, so there is an in-game event running at the moment. So, basically just this, to keep it quite swift, is that the current season is all cryptid themed, but Rip Daring and his cryptid hunt. Uh, at rank 4, I believe it is, 5, very early on anyway, you can pick up the Cold Shoulder Shotgun, and the current event involves using that to take out a number of cryptids. So if you head into your challenges, you'll see there are daily, weekly, and event challenges listed under the map menu there. So if you open up the event one, you can see there is a single challenge there at the moment, that is Hunt 25 Cryptids with Cold Shoulder, which is uh, a gun that is particularly designed for that, so not too bad to do. Basically, I don't know how long this is running, I get the feeling it might be about a week, which would mean until this coming Tuesday. So as of uh, recording this and uploading this, it is the 18th of May 2023, so that Tuesday would therefore be the 23rd. Um, I don't know because I haven't been able to find any details, so... Either way, I'd run through it there. Um, you've got a good bit of time on that. There's also a second part to this that is a complete five daily challenges thing that is running through until uh, probably the same day. That is for a skin. So the reward for hunting 25 cryptids, the event challenge, is uh, a bed for your camp. Whereas the reward for the five daily challenges is a new skin for Cold Shoulder. I believe there are two versions of it currently on the season, so this would be a third, I think. So, yeah, basically, if you want to craft Cold Shoulder, just run over to your workbench and uh, open up the weapons workbench once you've grabbed the item from the current season. As I say, it's uh, rank 5, I think it is. So, not particularly difficult to get your hands on. Head down to the machined guns section, and there you'll find Cold Shoulder, which you can then modify once you've crafted it. So, yeah, quite a cool little shotgun. It's uh, debatably one of the best shotguns in the game at the moment. The only one that really gives it a run for its money is the Gauss shotgun, so... Uh, yeah, maybe worth giving it a go as well if you're in, in the mood for something a little different. But um, if you're wondering in good places to find cryptids, I can't think of 25 off the top of my head, but uh, here's a good little run that will get you well on your way, and uh, we've got a few days to do it yet anyway, so uh, needs to be one can always serve a hop as well. That is, you can have a look at Toxic Larry's Meet and Go over on the eastern side of the Savage Divide. This usually has three Snallygasters there. Also on the topic of Snallygasters, if you head down to the Flooded Train Yard in the Cranberry Bog, that's not too far away from the area that gets nuked a lot, then the train yard there often has three or four Snallygasters in it as well, sometimes as many as five. So there's an opportunity to grab a load more as well. Uh, there is a very reliable spawn of a Grafton monster at Charleston. It's sort of between uh, Charleston Train Yard, just south of the train station, and uh, Poseidon Energy Power Station. So that little sort of um, canal, I suppose, that's dried up down there, river. Uh, you can usually find a Grafton monster there. And um, if you head to Grafton, funnily enough, in the Toxic Valley, usually you'll get an event spawn when you arrive. That might be Protest March, in which case that won't help you very much. But it might also be Grafton Day, in which case another Grafton monster. So there's some options for you. You can serve a hop, try that out. And uh, I'm sure there are other places as well that you can find cryptids. So uh, if anybody wants to throw tips on that down in the comments, then go right ahead. Yeah, a bit strange Bethesda haven't told us about this particular one, or at least as far as I can tell they haven't. But uh, there we go, a little very simple in-game event that is running at the moment. It gives you an opportunity to get a new skin, and uh, also a new hunting lodge kind of uh, four-poster style bed for your camp. So, on the way out, I should give a little shout to Steve, who's one of my mods on stream. You should totally join our streams, by the way, if you haven't already. Uh, who let me know about this last night, and also to Jellybee, who gave him the heads up. So, thank you very much, UT. And uh, yeah... As I say, if you get a chance to join the live streams, we are playing Fallout 76. You can jump back into that tonight. We've got Redfall on the go as well, which I'm having a lot of fun with. And uh, yeah, like, subs, notification bell, all that good stuff. If you're interested, check out social media links and the merch store in the description as well. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much to everybody who's done that. And yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys found this useful and informative. And I look forward to speaking to you all very, very soon. <laughs>